In this video, we're going to create the sci-fi artwork in Photoshop. Let's get started. Let's create a new file. I'm going to use 1080 by 1080. Hit create. And now let's open the first image. You can find the link of this image in the description below as well as the rest of image that we're going to use in this tutorial. So please check that out. Now let's remove the earth background here. I'm going to use quick selection tool and apply on the window here. You can also try to use pen tool if you're not if you don't have this tool as long as you just remove this earth background. Now let's continue. I'm going to fix this part. So I'm going to grab quick selection tool again and grab this plus add to selection. Okay, apply there and apply here as well. And here is it is missed, so I'm going to change this into minus. Okay, and then here as well. Here, and I think that's it. Now I'm going to edit the selection further by going to select and select and mask. I'm going to change the view into white so I can see clearly the edge of this selection. And then I'm going to make it a bit smooth by cranking up the radius smooth better and finally contrast to sharpen the final selection. Okay, great. Now let's output, output that into layer mask. And then let's bring this into our main document. Now hit Ctrl T to scale this down. And make sure the position is filling the whole artboard. And place it around here. Okay. Okay, now let's open the second image. Let's remove the background. I'm going to crop this first. And then I'm going to use select, select subject. This is a new feature of Photoshop where the subject is selected automatically. If you don't have, you can just use pen tool. And here there's a little bit mistake. So I'm going to fix that by using quick mask and grab lasso tool. And then simply select the ear surface here. And then Make sure the color is white because we're going to apply this white color into the selection by pressing Ctrl Delight. Okay. Now let's quit the quick mask mode and then go to select and select a mask to see the hair selection. Let's change the mode into on black. I think the selection is great. It's done really well, so I don't think I need to alter any settings here. I'll put that into layer mask. And then apply layer mask. We don't need the background anymore. And I'll bring this into our main document. And scale this down. Okay, now let's add the galaxy background. So I'm just dragging the image here and then scale this up and rotate it because I'm going to put it on the bottom of this layer panel and place it around here okay looking good now let's rename this for a while I'd like to rename this layer guy and this one will be window next I'd like to edit the lighting condition of this window as well as the guy because this tree layer doesn't match right now so let's go to window layer and apply curves make sure it clip hold alt here and then grab this point up and this down the same for the guy just apply or select the guy layer and then 
go to curves and make sure to clip hold alt key on your keyboard and then do almost the same as before but this time because it has a very bright edge here so you need to drag this down a bit bit more here maybe the middle part too needs to be edited and maybe here as well just to make sure between this and this between the window and the guide a bit more similar yeah I think it's working now and for the next part is the tone of this window I'm going to add a color balance and make sure it clip hold alt key and make sure it stays on top of the curves one and then because the galaxy color is a bit more bluish so I'm going to add some blue color like that maybe magenta because there's some magenta here same for the guy let's click on curves 2 and apply color balance make sure it clip and then the settings is identical now let's work on the background I'd like to add some meteor effects just like I did here so let's do it insert the meteor background this one and then rasterize it if it's in the smart object state now hit Control T to rotate this a bit and then I'm going to squeeze this meteor hit Control T again and drag this down unproportionally maybe here too so the trail is a bit longer Okay, now let's change the blending mode into screen and we need to erase this hard edge over here so let's just grab eraser tool and just erase this part now let's bring this down under the window layer so it's properly placed there and then let's control T to rotate this and scale this down as well let's rename this as meteor meteor 1 because there will be another meteor I will put over here and here now I'd like to change the color of this meteor so hit control U to open hue saturation and change the hue around this value I'd like to make it a bit more ranges like this one next I'd like to add some glowing effects on this meteor so let's create new layer let's rename it as glow and grab brush tool and pick the round brush like this one with the zero hardness make it a bit bigger like this one and then grab the color I'm going to choose this color and maybe just a little bit more saturated like this one and hit OK make sure the opacity around this value and the blending mode is screen this is really important and then let's apply it now you can see the effects you can add more colors and scale down the, the brush as well by pressing the bracket or simply just right click and alter here you can play around with this just to create your own effects or you can also add another color maybe a bit brighter yellow like this one and then apply here but with a lower opacity like I did here maybe 10% or 17 around this value and then just apply it okay I think it's looking great now we can link this two so whenever we move that we move these two layer together so select the glow layer and press shift to select this meteor so you select this two 
and then right click link layers so these two will always move together it's pretty cool now let's duplicate these two layers so press shift and control J and place it here and then you can also scale this down control T and then you can duplicate these two and place it here and like to scale this down all right now for the next part I'm going to boost the color of this of this galaxy so let's select the galaxy layer first and then create new layer boost or color boost and then change the blending mode into overlay and then grab brush tool now I'm going to boost this color a bit more blue and this will be a bit more oranges so let's do it I'm going to start with the earth surface here so let's just select this color over here and then I'm going to change the property of the color here just try it out you can also experiment experiment with the color here so I'm going to grab this color and then I'm going to apply it the opacity is a bit too low I guess I'm going to make it around this value and then just apply it all right I think it's looking good If you're not happy with the color, you can change with hue saturation. Control, press Control U on on the keyboard, and just slide the hue sliders here to your liking. And here, I like to make it more oranges, so I'm going to add more color boost. So color boost, and change the blending mode to overlay and do the same just before just the difference is selecting the different layer I mean the different color so I'm picking up this color this color and maybe a bit more saturated and let's apply it all right I think it's way too strong I'm going to change by using hue and saturation I think it's great and I'd like to edit this as well I'm going to just go here and then select another blue color Here you can play around with the settings of these two color boost or you can just create another color boost for another area or maybe the Sun let's Sun color boost just the same settings with overlay blending mode and just grab brush tool and select the color that you like maybe this one a bit more reddish let's give it a try yeah maybe like that and here maybe a little, little bit more red and here for the blue over here I'm going to make a different blue maybe here Yeah, so you can play around with these colors. Now let's create the lighting effects on the surface of the window. So let's go to window and select the top layer adjustment of the window and create new layer called lighting or shading and make sure it clip and change the mode into screen. Now let's grab brush tool again. This time it's quite small, maybe around 20 and now let's create the lighting effects on this so for this case I'm going to grab this color and apply it here so it feels like the lighting hit the surface of this window you can apply to the other surface maybe here you can pick this color press alt and apply here
and if it's too much you can just erase this by using eraser tool make sure the opacity a bit around 50 you can so you can have a bit more control over the eraser and then apply the brush again You can also apply on the guy here, so just create the new layer and name it lighting and make sure it clip and you can apply the same effects. Grab brush tool and apply the effects here for example. Oh yeah, the settings should be screen. You can explore more for the lighting effects here. You can apply maybe over here on the other surface because a lot of details there. I'm just giving you the idea how to create that lighting effects. And next I'm going to move on to the final tone for this artwork. I'm going to use filter called camera raw filter. But first thing first, we need to merge all this layer together. But don't worry, we're going to use smart object. So let's grab if you're using artboard, you can just convert this into a smart object. But if you don't use artboard here, you can just select all the layer by going here, select all layers, and right click convert to smart object. And now let's go to filter, camera raw filter. Basically, you can you can just play around with this all the settings here. But for the main idea, I'm just going to edit the temperature a bit and then the color mixer. I'm going to alter the color of the blue here so by going to this slider blues and don't forget the in the hue section and change around this value maybe if you want to change the magenta and the reds here so change these settings and for the rest you can just play around with the settings or maybe you can also apply a bit more grain effects to add a little bit more noise effects on the final tone. And that's it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave comments in the box below. And until then, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.